Hey guys, Rick here with Northeast Whitetail. We're going to be doing some cutting here today, but no, it's not going to be hinge cutting. We're going to be conventionally, conventionally felling um, a number of these smaller red maple trees in here to open up the canopy. We're going to create a big brush pile here in the center. And uh, looking forward to this project here. There's uh, Already a bedding area established over here with a number of deadfalls, some pine trees and stuff. We've got some pines, thicker hemlocks over in this area. We've already got bedding occurring here in this area naturally. And uh, what we want to do is just jack up some of the uh, natural browse levels in here, get some briars going and uh, get some forbs going in here as well just to give them something to eat. A little bit closer to their bedding area so I'm gonna get started here and uh, hopefully we'll get to see the finished product here by the end of the day Pro probably gonna take me a couple hours here so we'll see you later All right, guys, uh, we're done here for the day, so we're just gonna take you up in here and show you what the uh, finished project product here looks like. So, what we got here is three great big brush piles that we made. I dropped 12 red maple trees total. A lot of them were these chimney trees, like you see right here, and. Uh, yeah, we just have this huge open hole in the canopy now, so like I said, I mean, we really put some structure and some brows in here on the ground now. This area was wide open before, and the deer are going to love this, so I'm really excited about how this turned out. Till next time, we'll see you guys later. Make sure to tune in to Northeast Whitetail. Look us up on Facebook, Northeast Whitetail Habitat and Strategy Management. I'll talk to you later.